Hey guys, in this video we're going to create crafting recipes so we can then add them as loot and when you click on it in the inventory it will teach you how to craft new item. First thing we need to do is create the actual item and for that we will need the asset. I found this really nice fantasy scroll on the sketchpad. So if you like it, download the same one. Then import it to Unreal. I have already done so because I don't want to do it on the video again since we have done it so many times. Just bear in mind it was in OBJ format so you will have to create your material and then just attach the textures. So I have named this the recipe underscore SM and then once you have done this we can resize it together. So drag it in the game, go to modeling and then I'm going to make it slightly bigger. Move it next to the mannequin so I can see what the size is. Yeah, that's pretty good. And then also rotate it by 19 degrees. Come on. So it lays flat when you drop it. And then we can go to X form, bake transform, make sure the bake rotation is checked as well, and also recenter pivot and accept so it will move to the middle. Now we have this done, we can delete this and create the actual item. First let's make an icon. So go to blueprints, icon creator, icon capture. In here I'm going to reset this mesh rotation and location and this will be mm, recipe. I'll also reset this light and intensity, move it closer, maybe offset it like this. And once you have, are happy with the icon, just right click on the render, create static texture, and this will be recipe underscore icon. Open it up. Texture group UI, compression setting user interface, 1 and 0. And then move it to icons. Now we can close this capture. We also need the items, so go to items, right click on the items pp, create child. Uh, again it will be recipe underscore pp. Item mesh will be recipe. And then we need a new type as well, which is very important. So let's go to enums, item types, create new one, and this will be recipes or recipe. Let's do recipe. I know we do have potions. I'll change it to potion and material because when you have a tooltip on one of them, on one of the potions, for example, it should say potion, not material, because that's the type. So save it. And then we can just create it in the data table. So let's go to structs and data tables, items DT, add new one, and this will be recipe. Here is recipe. Item class is recipe. Everything is recipe. So recipe here as well and then stack and max stack one and one. You don't want to stack these because they will be for different items. Item type is recipe, skeletal mesh we don't need, rarity up to you, I'll do legendary. Base stats, no, no condition, weight will be maybe 0 0.5, value. So price and sell price, price will be 50, sell price 10. And description, for description do teaches how to craft, colon and space. And then later we will add to this description just what it's going to teach us. And then for the crafting we don't need anything and drop chance will be something low because you don't want to drop too many recipes, so maybe three. 
and now we need an actual variable that will tell us what this is going to teach us and we can create that variable in the crafting struct so we just don't have to create a new one here in the item info so let's go to crafting crafting struct and here create a new variable now be very careful and don't do anything that I'm not doing on the video because it can screw up with your variables because we are doing, we're changing the struct that is already inside of another struct. So first, uh, the variable type that we could use could be, could be the actual data table row. So we could pick from the items here, but I also want to randomize it. And if we rolled gold on the randomizer, then that would mess it up if we rolled another recipe that would mess it up or some materials because you don't want to craft them so instead what we're going to do is create new enumerator and this will be recipes and here we will add all the recipes that we want sorry recipes underscore e. all the items that we want to craft so it's going to be same as data table row but here you can add the spaces. So if you have iron sword in a data table, you can you can put space in be, uh, sorry in between the words. So now, for example, here plate boots, plate gloves, and stuff. I can add space, but make sure if you are also using the capital letters for all of the words, just use the capital letters in the recipes as well because we can actually remove space quite easily but it's much harder to add it and we will need both so let's add new enumerator i just added it to description by the way so this one will be uh, iron sword then i got plate gloves and maybe steel helmet I'm not going to create all of them that I want to craft. This is just for show. And now in the crafting, we can change it. Now, this is very important. Don't change anything special. So I'll show you if we do structure, which will be recipes. This one will be called recipe off. And now if you save it, don't compile anything. Just go to item info and sometimes if you saved it and if you added new variable and you would have a default values change to something different then this one would show you red arrow like red cross here that you can't compile if that happens to you make sure you first go to default values and change something in the variables and change it back in a default that will recompile it and then you save it if you don't do it and then you compile the whole game all of the blueprints that are using the item info will get messed up completely it will even delete some of your like inventory or something like that it might happen so be very careful and then once we have actually added that variable in the crafting and in the item info save all and then we can continue so now we do have the item so if i change this potion for example item name to recipe it gives me a cone i need to probably play the game yeah so we got recipe but you can see it's pick up none and also we can't select the actual recipe that we want it to be even though now in the item info in the crafting we got recipe of which is iron sword by default which doesn't matter if you have a default one because we're only going to be using it for recipes and the reason why we're getting none is in the blueprints items and interactable items we do have this generate stats add, sorry add random stats and in here we do have a selector on the recipe if you don't connect the new item types it won't return note with the item info so it will be empty and that's why it was none so compile and save and now to actually set the recipe we can either randomize the recipe from the selection so we're going to create a variable 
which will be uh, what did we call it recipes recipe pool or recipes pool now we'll be type recipes and it will be array we will also make it instance editable and as I said we can either randomize it so we will have this when we click on the item we do have gold drop item info why is it not here did I make it instance editable what where have I just added it to play blueprint my bad sorry recipes pool need to go to control x and needs to go to interactable items not, in, not to the player so now we have a recipe pool compile and save here you can see it recipe pool and we could add multiple ones so we could add iron sword plate gloves steel helmet and then we're going to randomize it but if you want to have a specific recipe on this one somewhere placed in the world you just delete this and that way when it randomizes it will always go for this one because there will be only one in the array okay so i'm going to leave it on plate gloves and then in interactable items what we need to do on construction script this is where we set the item info from data table so here we check if the gold if it's gold it's a bit messy i don't have disconnected even though it doesn't matter because it's gold but here we can copy this paste it and check if the item type is recipe this time so after this if it's not gold it might be recipe and if it is recipe we're going to get this item info that we already have we're going to set it and we're going to get it as well break this one open break this one open sorry make it connect it to true mm, let's move it like that there is one we will go up and here we need to connect everything apart from the actual crafting part So all of this just leave crafting out connect the drop chance as well so we don't forget and then for the crafting we will make sorry break on this side and make on this side again we connect everything just know the recipe of and for recipe of we get this recipe pool that we will set and we will do random array item and connect it here so that will pick on random if there is only one it will pick that one and if there is multiple it will pick random and this will only work if it's a recipe and it will reset the item info to this one so compile and save now one thing we can do is this we will have to comment so c and this will be again to update as we did the previous one when we need to update an item info and now just to see because i saw that i didn't have some stuff connected here i'm going to actually find to update item info press this and then these are all the ones we commented and i can see look in a pickup item i don't actually have drop chance so that's a big one i pick up item and it loses its drop chance this one doesn't have a drop chance this one doesn't have a drop chance and now as you can see with the commenting where you need to update it, it takes 10 seconds when it usually would take 10 minutes so that's all of them updated and now in interactable items we have it set and then let's do the same thing inside loot container so we'll copy this part even with this equals recipe copy go to root component close this recipe crafting item info items data table and even interactables now and inside the loot component 
Uh, we do have generate loot and add random loot. So this is where we need to go. Here we will paste it. And we need to check it before we add it to inventory. So this one we will move behind this. And then item info that will go from here is generated here from the random stats. Uh, what are we setting here? Ah, okay, so this one will delete and we'll make it from here. So make item info. You don't actually have to just connect it here. I'll move this down. Move, god damn it. There we go. Move this down. And now if it's if this item, let's break it open before again. So if this item type equals recipe, then we will have to do this. If it's not, so if it's false, what do we need to do? Just add another one. Let's do one more add. Let's do not equal here. So we don't have to reconnect everything. So here, not equal enum, not equal recipe. So it's not a recipe, we will just do regular add loot items inventory and we're adding this item. If it is, and again I have to move this part and this will go to false. And again we're setting it, we don't have this random recipes pool, we're going to create it, so right click create variable and we'll make it instance editable. Compile and save. And now this is what generates our item. So it will check after before it adds it to the loot inventory array that if it's a recipe, if it's not a recipe, it will just add this item. If it is recipe, we'll change the recipe off so that's from all of the loot sources we're actually changing it compile and save let's go to uh, interactable one more time because i want to see i think we do have too much stuff here at the moment right um, i don't want to have this dropped item info so i'm just going to put it in category interactables item this drop item info category don't modify just in case, because if you modified it, that will mess it all up. All right, and now we won't see it basically, because we don't have any description or anything, but when you pick it up, it looted actual recipe and teaches you how to craft. We will have to change the tooltip as well, so it shows what it's teaching you. But basically I only had the uh, plate gloves, so it's a recipe of plate gloves.